down rabbit or braid is not hard. That's true. But the root of the hair, the build up at the root, that sticks the hair together. The shampoo, the oil, the lint. That's what sometimes protects your hair. It might dry it up on you or mat up on you. And especially around your edges, a lot of women don't have edges. From that. Now yank them out because they get impatient. We don't want you to be impatient. So hers, how long have your braids been in? Uh, about a month. Just a month. So hers are really, really, really old. So what you do again, comb for the braiding. I'm going to cut the braid right, right past her hair. And even if they're micros, micros are much smaller, same concept. Soak it all, all the way through the braid. So I'm going to cut it past where her hair is. Since I don't know, I'm just assuming it's right there. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, no, no. no I know I said, no, no, no. I, 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 see, I see where, like, some of your hair's coming out, but I couldn't really judge, so I tried to. <laughs> I, I didn't cut your hair. I, I can't save myself out of that, but I didn't cut your hair. I didn't cut your hair. I, I promise you, I didn't cut your hair. We'll see. I'm witness. You're witness. So you soak it on, but I cut it a little bit past where I assumed her hair stopped. Because I didn't know, I cut it a little bit first. Okay. So it should take you no more than about say about at least less than a minute to get the braid out and once you let it sit again we didn't let her sit for too long but you should always tell everybody that as soon as your client comes in let it sit for about you know 15 minutes the longer you let the, the cream sit on the softer it makes the hair would you suggest putting them on the hair dryer that's even better but if you're going to relax you can't do that because you're off of those pores but if you're not going to relax you can't sit them on the dryer put a plastic cap okay yeah put them under a plastic cap and not a problem at all. The cream makes the braid a little slippery, so it's easy to kind of pop it loose and get it out. But I'm so down low. And then the thing is, once you get this braid out, again, as I said before, our focus is their hair at the root. Now we soaked this cream in, so it made her hair soft. Can you see? <laughs> it made her hair soft, so there's no really a lot. There's not really a lot of buildup, which is good. And you just comb it through. But at least a lot of her hair didn't come out. And plus she has big parts, so that's a good thing too. But for those small little tiny braids, soak it on and slip it on. Then when you guys come around, I want you to feel how soft her hair is. And what happens is all this cream that I put in, it absorbs into the hair. And you'll see it's an oil base left on her scalp. Okay? So we're going to stop and let somebody, then after I finish everybody, somebody might want to come and draw on your hair. So go back and sit down. Okay. I just want to do one and let you see, and then you come up here and try it. Now let's do yours. She has tree braids. Okay, Tree braiding is where, and we can show you downstairs at our booth, you braid a little bit and you leave hair out. You braid, you leave her out. See, a braid looks like a tree, but hers is cornrow. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. You braid a little bit, you leave it strand out. You braid a little bit, leave it on this side. So when you lift the braid up, it has strands hanging out from it. So it looks like a tree with branches. So that's what they call a tree braiding. Okay, sit down for us, honey. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the... the medical? Right there. Right here. Down if it's a hard edge right there, you can just take the scissors. Just snip a little at the tip. Okay. Again. So again, hers a corn roll. I'm trying to separate it so y'all can see it well. You see the corn roll with the hair hanging out of it? Okay. So this is where the braid ends. Did you take a before and after? So the braid ends. I'm soak some cream. She said, oh. And I'm going to cut. They use nail glue. A lot of times with braiding with human hair, they use the nail glue, the clear nail glue, like 99 cents in the store. You braid past the hair and you put the glue on to kind of um, seal it. And by being clear, you can't really tell it's on. So that's what they have on hers. So I'm going to snip right there at the glue part. Because it's supposed to put it past the hair. Some people put it on here, it's supposed to be past the hair. Oh, yeah, I needed some of those trash bags. Can I have some? Yes. You want to let me take that? Yes. Thank you.
Again, I'm using a comb for braiding. What you basically do is just comb it out. And these are pretty much easy because they're corn rolls, but the thing is, she with her, she had a lot of buildup. And that's what can yank the hair out. That's what can damage your hair when it's dry. So you want to moisturize the hair first. Moisturize it and then remove it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a peppermint shampoo. It cleans out all the residue and the cream. And it's a heavy shampoo um, that you can use after. And it's a good question. It's a good question you brought up. We have a lot of products. Actually, we have a whole line of products. And um, after we're done, We'll put each one up so you can see. We have a shampoo, we have a conditioner, we have a leave-in conditioner, we have a oil. And the first ingredient in that oil is castor oil. It's a castor oil-based oil that you massage into the scalp, especially for a lot of thinning. We have a hair lotion for moisture. The hair needs moisture, not just oil, moisture. A lot of us say, well, I don't want to put oil on my scalp, it makes my hair greasy. You're right, oil will just make your hair greasy, but what about moisture? And then you'll say, oh, well, oil doesn't penetrate in my hair, it just sits on the top. Well, you need to open up the pores of your scalp. You need to open up the pores of your hair. Put moisture on it. That's what our hair lotion is for, so that your hair won't be so dry. You don't have to put a lot. You don't have to cake it on, you know, where it weighs the hair down. But just enough so your hair is moisturized. You put lotion on your um, skin every day. Why you can't put it on your hair? You know? In your scalp. Massage it in it. And your scalp will feel so much better. So much. After I take this out again, I want you to feel how soft her hair is. So daily the, the, the hair lotion you can use daily. Some people might not need it daily. Like I use it because I dye my natural hair, so I have to use it like three times a week because the dye makes my hair so dry. And, um, and others can use it once a week. So you're taking out a coral? Yes, a coral. So it's not single braid? No, it's not single braid. But you can do tree braiding with single braiding. You can. You sure can. Now, what kind of problems when I'm doing this? What kind of problems do, do any of you all see the most in the salon? With, with that of braiding or glue or weaving? I can't see. The hair from the hair from the roof popping it with the braids or with the weave? Which one? Both. Both? Both. What were you doing? Yeah, I said that their hair is a little dry. Yeah. Let me, let me, is a lot coming on Let me do a little bit on the TV so they can see and not let them come up. Oh, yeah. We've got the glue in her. Let's take out a track and then everybody's going to come up and let's see. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I have a question. Go ahead. Um, Could you stand up so everybody can hear your question? Oh, <laughs> go ahead. Okay, I've been wearing a weave for about four years. Right. My natural hair comes to here now. Right. I love my hair, but because I live in California and the sun is so harsh and the chlorine and the salt, and all the stuff that they put in the water, it truly dries the hair out. A lot of my clients I do, even I don't care what kind of conditioners, you can sit them on the dryer for 30 minutes, you know, they come on a regular basis. It's what are, with the chemicals in our water that's really eating our hair up. Okay. When I take my weaves out, I have hands full of hair. What I start doing is putting them in the bag so whenever I go to drip, I can use my own hair and make them long again. <laughs> but I want to stop, I want to stop the, um, the, the shedding of the hair. Even after I comb through the hair, take out all the dead hair and all that, and I shampoo, my hair still want to lock up. Mm. What can I do with that? A lot of times I know um, if the hair is dry, like you said, it's dry even when you have it because of the water. After you shampoo it, because of course shampoo water absorbs all the minerals out your hair all the time. A lot of times the hair will lock up again after because it's, it's still so dry. So what I tell a lot of people that if that, if that does happen to you, as soon as you shampoo, after you, you know, before you blow dry anything, take lotion, like our hair lotion, <coughs> absorb it in the hair, massage it into the hair, and then blow dry. Comb it through first and then blow dry it. So before you even dry the hair, because you're saying after you shampoo, it wants to mat up again right on you, right. right? So right after you shampoo, put some of the hair lotion on. Before you blow dry, before you try to do anything, and comb it through little by little. Oh, sorry, let me turn my phone off. 
I got to the point where I wanted shampoo because of the alkalinity in the shampoo. I right. just try to condition my hair clean. Just keep using conditioner, conditioner, and rinsing and rinsing because of the harshness of the water, but it's still... Yeah, see, but, but it's, like you're, it's like you're depriving your hair of its cleanliness because of the problem. So let's figure out how we can solve it. So if you know that you're still going to stay where you are, you still got to use the water, you still got to shampoo your hair, you still got to cleanse your hair, just after you shampoo it, bombard it with a lot of moisture to comb through it, okay, and then go on to the next style. Because it's, you're not moving out there, are you? So we got to figure out how to keep putting moisture in here so your hair won't get so dry. If it does keep getting dry, when you shampoo it, do you put, even with the leave-in, do you put leave-in conditioners? Yes. Just as you did. Keep doing that. You just got to keep doing it. Just got I mean, I know it's like you wash it, you, you defeat the purpose shit. You put the moisturizer in thing, you shampoo, and it comes right back out. You got to keep doing it. You do it for your skin. That's it. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Maybe Isaac can answer that as well. Go ahead. Can I add, add something to that? Do you use chemicals? No, I have no chemicals. Well, the, the next, if, if you, you constantly have it, She's already soaked. Show you this. Put it on the track. You said she, wait, she, so we she got, we, yeah, you're going to see, well, you know, we have, we have braid in here and then we have, we just have a lot of stuff she going on. Braided. No, uh -huh. she braided and then she sewed, I mean, she glued on top of the braid. Okay. She didn't use no braid. Yeah, she did. Because I cut some. I think that's she is the bridge. Yeah, it's glue and everything here. I'm really not sure. You said she got lazy. Okay, where the glue comes, the, the, the track will come right off. I put a little extra cream because there's so much stuff going on here. The track will come right off. Okay. No, because no, we won't let them try. Don't take it all out. Just start it. We'll come back up here so they can see. So the track will come right off as hers is. Wait, I got to see because it's like in a circle here. Okay. But it's okay. No, we're not, it's not going to be too sore. The track will come right. See, the track will come right off. Not too sore. The, tra the track will come right off. Okay. Then we got to go back and unravel her braid. I'm trying to see a little bit. Oh, you can't. I'm sitting there doing this and you can't see. Hey. Now you could have went the other way. Okay. Okay. So soaking a little bit on. Some of these tracks, when y'all come up here to try, some of these are sewed on, so you have to cut the thread. But the thing is, we can lift up the glue, is what I'm trying to do. Okay? Come right off. Not that hard. We already soaked this on. So you saw that? Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let everybody do the rest just in case they want to try. I'm not going to take them all out. So go back and sit. Let's do the lock one more time on here. And then you guys can come up and try. Let me have it. I'll put a towel around here. 
Zoe. Yeah, hers is a braid. So that's easy. It's not a braid up. They'll be able to do that. We're going to take it all out. So let the camera see. Donna, let me see that comb. You see, we've already got the locker loose. Donna, excuse me for a minute, y'all. Let me just get the comb. We've already got the locker loose. Donna has started combing it out. And what all you'll have to do is when you come up, is pick this in there. You'll see it breaking apart for you. You see it breaking apart. Keep moving. It won't focus. You keep moving. I can't oh, I keep focus. moving. Okay, yeah. let me stay straight. Talk to me. And you're going to have, we guarantee 80% of your hair. Not all your hair, but we guarantee 80%. And for some people, that's better than having a cut. Okay? So you just soak the cream on, and you just comb it through. You comb, pick it through, and you go back and comb. You pick it, and you come back and comb. But you guys will come see for yourself. Am I moving again? Okay. That's very clear. Real easy. Okay, so you just pick it out. I mean, it takes time. Most people cannot do a whole head of locks in one day. Like when we do it, we tell people we'll do it over a week. Do it a little bit every day, maybe three, four hours a day. But people are willing to wait about a week to have all their hair. If we work on little by little. Because just it takes about almost 10, 15 minutes to do one lock. Not even 10, about 15 to 20. Because you got to sit here and pick and pick and pick. Pick and comb. But it will come loose. So I'll put some more cream on and let you guys come up here and try to pick it apart. How many of y'all in are interested in being certified takedown stylists? Are you interested in having that and providing that service in the salon? Okay, so what different cities are you in? Chicago? New York? Okay, please send Texas. Florida. South Carolina? I'm in Dallas. Dallas, okay, that's cool. At least you'll know some when you go to school. California. California, okay, good. Because we want to make sure we have people all over. Okay, so go back, sit back down. And what I want y'all to do is if you're interested, we're going to do a row. Everybody just kind of walk behind each other, and I'm going to give everybody a comb. This is your comb. This is your comb. I got paper towels over here, and I have spray to wipe your hands after you're done. Let's start in one line so everybody can move a chain, so we're going to bump. We're going to start there. Start, let's start over there. And um, Donna, we'll help you. If you, get, if you get caught up somewhere, we'll help you. The camera guy, I don't know if he can kind of cover it. I can't get everybody. You can't, you can't get everybody, but he'll try and... Get you as you can. Yeah. You want these picked up, right? Yeah, take them for everybody. Now, I want everybody to come right to our booth. We're going to have a, uh, the raffle drawing for our class in about an hour, once we get back down there. So come, bring your tickets, and we'll pull it, and everybody will get, um, you'll get a set of products to take back with you, the winner, and a t-shirt. Everybody two minutes. And Man, what is that? <laughs> We've got, let me tell you about some of the deals we got. Every purchase, you get a free t-shirt. Um, but the winner of the raffle gets one of the diamond t-shirts. We have these for sale as well. Buy one, get one free. Because we want to keep the name on your brand. Did you, did you want to try the other? Let me get a comb. Try everybody. Try each one you want to try. If you already know how to take out the braids, then skip on that and go to something else. Here, if you want to take that. Give everybody Let me give you some more product. Ladies here, hold the product. They might need some product to put on your hair to try to take it out. There it is. Um, who didn't get a ticket? Who didn't get a wrapper ticket? Okay. Where the tickets? Where the wrapper We've got my niece here. She has some micro braids. We can let somebody t try on her. Who put up another chair? We started hers yesterday. We're going to finish it. Uh, okay, we got to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Did you try it? Okay. Yes, did you kiss the blue off? So, did you see how it's braided? Yeah. Somebody soak another one. Somebody soak it in. Soak it in there. She's got a coral. 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 Because we got to keep it moving now so everybody can still get back to the show. Get those good deals. Let me have some product. I'm still in the classroom. Wait, what's up? What the business is? It's some G-Unis over here, bro. It's some G-Unis over there. Don't work on her head. Don't work on her head. How you gonna get back? If you come out, you can't get back in. Man, keep your butt down. I'll be down in a minute.
You see, but most of the times they let us do it. And we're on the internet as well, www.takedownproducts.net. You can just go. We've been on the internet for about five, six years, so our website, you can just type in Take Down Hair Products, it comes right up. But uh, when you come downstairs, all that information is available for you. So you can purchase online. Let's keep it moving. Y'all been here too long. <laughs> come on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. And she had, she, this lady had a sewing weed. It's been in for about two months, so her hair's real matted. Honey, you look scared. He's a take down. <laughs> she like, what's the take down on it? Try and comb it through. That's her comb. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Imani? The, somebody needs to come do a little baby stand now. Her micro. Somebody needs to come try her micro. She's sitting over here looking lonely. You want to try? Yeah. She got a comb and just. Yeah. And I cut past her hair. Put some cream on it. And my sister helped guide you. Now you put a lot on there, but just massage it in. See, like, if you put that much on, you won't be able to relax. Somebody got it. You won't relax her hair. It's too much to relax on her But I know because of it. Yeah. I don't have it. Okay. On her braids, and I got um, spray over here, chloride spray for y'all to spray your hands after you're done. Start the track. Are you lifting the lifting up for the track? Okay, start over here. Start over there. Start over there. You want to put a comb up there? A comb? You need another comb? A braid comb. A comb. Right here. Yeah. If you use just a little amount, you could actually relax that same day. That's the same day. You know, because for, for the most part, like her hair, when you get to this lady here, the cream is absorbed in her hair and all the stuff in her scalp is oil. You can relax her and you'll see. You can cut that a little higher, honey. Good. Go ahead. Yes. I know that. Yes. If anything. No. You can leave it in the moisture. It's just so heavy. She don't want to build up here. <laughs> okay, let's keep it moving. What you need for her? And I want y'all to feel the hair. Even if you don't feel like doing it, just feel how soft the hair is left. Okay? Did she, did she do her? Okay, we coming for you, Imani. Somebody's coming for you. And soak the next track on that glue. And you all save some because we got about four or five other people who might want to take some of that glue out. So just lift it up. Don't, lift, don't take the whole thing out. Just lift it up a little bit so you can see for yourself and let somebody else lift it up so everybody can get a chance just to see the glue coming out. And when, we, when you come back to our booth, if you don't get a chance to do the bonding, Donna Terrace bonding, we're going to do her at a booth. You can practice there. What's your name? Oh, you're ready. Her, her, her braid. Somebody come take her. Okay. Yeah, soften it up. Now, we're going to go downstairs and shampoo her, but you can pick it through. Did you see how it's all matted? The braid is even grown up. Yeah. Won't have no more combs. Uh, yeah. Two people can work on the head. Yeah, sure. Okay, hold on. Let me clean this comb. What you doing, braids? This the braids. We're just, I don't have any more braids on. You can use it. I mean, it's a work on the braids. We just have an exact separate. It'll work on the braids. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you want to get some products now while you're here? You want to get some Seven dollars. Because we have a few over there. Right here. Your t-shirts. Go over there and take care of it. Business card. Yes, I got that for you. How much is a comb? A comb. The comb's are a dollar. But when you buy your stuff, you get a free. Get your comb for free. What is yeah. it? Oh, what is it? Shears. 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 Do we have your, your information so we can go on tour? What city you in? North Carolina. Okay, no, we won't be in there in North Carolina no time soon. But we'll be there by early 2004. I'm going to come here. No, I need you to try. I need you to try. Because what am I certifying you for? You didn't touch it? Yeah. But, but, once you, once you get this, once you try it, you pay $40 to get your products, which is what you want, and then give you a sip. I don't have a salon, you Once you get settled, No, it's okay. I'm just throwing it away. You can put it right there. What about weaving? Weaving. 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 No extension. Yeah. 
We need to talk. We need to talk. You all let me share this. She's from Utah and she was saying that there are black people there, but there's been not a lot of stuff for our hair. So she's trying to also learn about what's it? Oh, there you go. <laughs> so she was